Hey guys, so welcome back to Judgment. Let's carry on where we left off. We're about to interview Kido as Asari. We couldn't change her outfit, but we could do her makeup. So we've gone with a appearance that resembles her previous outing, working for the This Is Yagami Detective Agency. As we go to interview Kido, he's got to be the chink in the armor of the ADDC slash Ministry of Health slash Kuroiwa Cabal. That is threatening Yagami's life at this point, considering they are acting with impunity desperate to get 89 out the door, and it seems like they're no closer to perfecting their formula given that lieutenants from the Kyurei clan, or captains I should say, are falling dead with their eyes gouged out. So, let's put a swift end to this, shall we? Sorry, you may be in danger, but we're gonna keep you safe. Hopefully. Fingers crossed, Genda would murder us before Kuroi could, if we fail. I'm about to murder this damn controller, I really need a new USB cable. <laughs> Okay, back on track. Hoshino, please take it easy. Stay calm. Don't preemptively intervene if you don't have to. Damn. She looks ready to rock and roll. Oh, I knew it. Oh, you're a goddess, Salary san. <laughs> Just incredible. Oh, that no. Hoshino, this is not how you do it. Sure aura. No. Are you going to stop soon? showering with compliments? Sorry. Not the way to go. I just I got a little excited. <laughs> take well, it easy. I'm ready to go. I can take it from here. Oh, so independent <laughs> too. No. Sorry. Oh my God. Stop now. Poor Hoshino. Well, That's an instant friend zone ticket if I've ever son. seen one. Um, hmm? Don't push yourself, okay? If things get dangerous, just run. She knows. I'm glad you care, but don't panic. I've got this. Yagami-san said I'll be safe, though. Yeah. I believe everything he yeah, says. Yeah, your life might not be in danger, but what if Kido tries to, you know, top a feel or something? She'll that's deal with it. Happen, that's what will happen. What? But... <laughs> I should be going. Damn. Sorry, son. Go By on, Oshino. Oshino -kun. Put on your yeah? white knight armor. Thank you for complimenting my makeup. It felt... Nice. Wow. Well. <laughs> huh? What? No, don't go. There's so many things I want to say. We're here. Hold on. Sorry, son. Oh, God. Yagami, we can't be seen here. We're going to get kicked out again. Take this with you. It's a hidden camera. A what? I suppose for this to work, we'll need physical proof. See, this is the lens. Any footage it takes gets sent to my phone in real time. Couldn't have given her this before yeah. she got in the taxi. Play this earpiece too. I'll give you some conversation pointers while you're in there. Oh, oh. God. <laughs> yeah. This time you'll need to be seductive with the words you say. I'm scared. Just your looks. <laughs> so. As long as it doesn't go like our first tips, date. Yagami -san? I'd appreciate that. Wait, really? Of course. Knowing how to woo man isn't exactly my specialty. Ah, oh, well, we're, well, it's not also, mine either, but we'll what try. Happens after I seduce him? <laughs> Once Keto starts coming on to you, we'll catch it all on the camera. Meaning there will be evidence of his sexual harassment. Yeah. Yeah. Your job will be done at that point. No, yep, I couldn't we'll get Capone on his that is on his footage to lure him to Kamurocho. Mafia work, so we'll get him with his taxes. Blackmailing. Hmm? We're getting Keto with sexual harassment. Secretly recording sexual harassment and blackmailing him with it? This is a rush. Think you can handle it? Don't worry. The more perverted things Keto does, the more he'll suffer later. Oh my god. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I'm scared what she's gonna try to listen from him. As much as possible, though. That'll be on you and your direction. You okay, thank you, sorry. Right. Please. Anyway, you should head in. Do look after yourself first. You are the number one priority here. Here we go. Can you hear me, sorry, son? First, you're going to want to go to the reception desk. Ask the lady there if you can interview Kido. She sounds like muffle you, so you should have no trouble Just make communicating something up about wanting more details on 89. Sounds good. God. I feel like I've seen well, an android in. Do you have an appointment? No. I was wondering if Director Kido would be available for an interview. And you are? A freelance journalist by the name of Shirosaki. I wanted to speak with him about 89. I'm terribly sorry, ma'am. I can't let you in without an appointment. Damn. Oh, I see. In that case, um... Oh, mission failed. Don't be afraid to press the issue, sorry, son. 
I, um, Director Keto is a very busy man. I'm sure you understand. Oh, well. It won't take long, I assure you. I'm sure you'll take one good and look I at can me. I wait if need be. Even so, please, can I at least see Keto-san and ask him myself? Yeah, I just need him to look I'm at sorry, me. sorry, ma'am. We decline all requests without a prior appointment. Oh, I think I could make an exception ha! for such a pretty girl. There we are. Huh? Very busy I'm man. Kido, the director of this center. Loitering I in the lobby. <laughs> to interview me. So, this is Kido. Ah, uh, yes. My name is Shirosaki. Shirosaki-san, hmm? Come, I'll show you to my office. A beautiful woman like yourself deserves VIP treatment. Okay. Are you sure, sir? Thank you very much. Ugh. Kido san. <laughs> Why would he invite me to his office? Not that I'm complaining. Oh, God. Well, we've infiltrated his office. Please come in. Wow. This is your office? It's breathtaking. I love how spacious it is. Oh, <laughs> no need to flatter me, though I do get quite a few compliments. <laughs> Please. Take a seat. Humble brag. Sorry, son. Put the camera on the what, table. What, has Hoshino been around giving you a few compliments? Huh. Thank you. You really must excuse me. I should have made an appointment instead of just showing up on your doorstep. Just an amateur Move journalist. A little to the right. Don't know what I'm doing, you know? Degrees. Vulnerable girl. Perfect. Would you care for a drink, Shirosaki-san? Maybe a glass of brandy? There's one I found recently that's truly top shelf. Oh. <laughs> What are you trying to do? I get me drunk about the job right now with pleasure. He doesn't even try and I'll hide his ulterior motives. Normally I just give him my usual silent glare, but with pleasure. Well, sure. I'll have some. It's a special occasion after all. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think I'm going to enjoy this interview. Yeah, I bet you are. Sorry, son. Keep it up. Okay. Even though I'm hesitant to take a drink from someone a like him. Wonderful interview. Yes, to the interview. Cheers. Mmm. It's incredible. This is already going a lot better than the cabaret Indeed club. It warms you up deep in your core, right? Sure. Yes. It's getting hot in here. Let me just I unbutton my button, top button. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Huh? Is something the matter? Oh, uh, no. It's just getting a little toasty in here. You know how it is. Well, uh, <laughs> yes. God, just literally stands up to take a peek. This guy is an absolute clown. Now then, <laughs> what is this interview about? Oh, man. Uh, how about you interview me? <laughs> uh, I need to keep this interview rolling, which means asking questions that pique Keto's interest. I want to know more about you. How's 89 progressing? Uh, I feel like this is a mixture of both. Like, you know, how, who are you as the director? You know, that'll help me out with my uh, with my article that I'm writing. There we I are. want to know every little detail about you. Why is uh, Director Keto <laughs> trying to here to discuss eighty nine? You're more synthesize eighty nine stuffy old drug. I see. This is better than I was expecting. What's next for Director Keto after eighty nine? So, you know, will you tell me, big boy? Whoa. Oh wow! Oh I god! <laughs> he's going real forward sure now, I say it here. and he's gobbling it all up. Huh? But it's just the two of us. You can do whatever you want. Oh, you're even more aggressive than I expected. Hey, she's not the one standing up, moving over. Not yet. Work comes first. Yeah. Answers. <laughs> yes, I uh, suppose the real fun can wait until later. Oh, it will. Well played, sorry, son. See, Yagami's not even giving any tips. He knows. He'll just step on her toes at this point. You should get this over with as quick as possible. Make your move, sorry, son. Okay. Hmm. In that case... <laughs> I told myself I'd do anything if it meant bringing these monsters to justice. Right now, that means getting Keto to show his true nature. Stroke his chin... I feel like that's uh, that's what we need to do. Crossing our legs is just... We've already done the teases with the undoing the buttons and 
crossing our legs is just going to do that even more. I feel like we need to come on to him a little bit. Why don't you come over here nope. and find out? I suppose mm -hmm. we didn't just deny him, but now we're <laughs> You're so adorable. Suddenly bring him over to our couch. <laughs> I could just eat you uh, up. <laughs> okay, well, well. You can be as loud as you This want. is what I was supposed to do to you. Uh, oh. Ugh. Well, whatever floats his boat, I guess. Well, he liked it. <laughs> Can't complain. How's this? Just wonderful. I think that's enough photos for now. All right, sorry, son. You're good. Wrap it up. Cool. I mean, all I really got is him howling. How did they turn out? And it's not even the full moon. Oh, do you want to? Ah. Ooh, there we go. All on camera. Right in the frame. This is a perfect backup. Stay strong, sorry, son. <laughs> Easy for him to say. This is so gross. Ugh. Oh, you've made me a very happy man today. I can see that. Unfortunately, we have some real fun. Now that the interview's out of the way. Hmm? Minx. I'll call you later. Well, um. How about dinner tonight? Sure. Oh my god, it sniffed his Draw fucking out. head. You dirty okay. dog. Let's do it in Camarocho. Camarocho? Um, how about somewhere else? I, I'd rather stay close by. Oh, I think I can convince you. Hmm. How so? You'll see. <laughs> Just a tease. Say on the Okay. Job's done. Oh, you've made me a very happy man today. <laughs> Why don't we have some real fun now that the interview's out of the way, hmm? My little minx. Is it just me, or did Sari san start getting weirdly into that whole thing at some point? That was my fault. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the stroking the chin uh, thing. It's kind of scaring me towards the end. <laughs> anyway, uh, you think Kido's actually going to show? Yeah. He'd be a fool not to. I just sent him the footage under Sari san's name. Said we'd put it online if he didn't show. Oh, well, yeah, he's definitely coming now. Yes, he doesn't have a choice then. Where'd you tell him to go? The batting center. Sugira and Higashi went ahead to keep an eye on the place. What's gotten into you, man? I don't know if I've ever seen you this organized. If I'm not organized, I'm dead, I Kaito. I can't afford to take my time with this. Okubo-kun's execution date is coming up fast. That too. Yeah, good point. Come on, we should go. We're on a deadline here. We can't be taking side cases, investigating Ono Michios and, and whatnot. I think that's the name. <laughs> I can't quite remember. It's been a, a whirlwind. Sugira. Hey, what's up? Bring the van around. You see me? Not if you haven't brought the van around, obviously. Mm. <laughs> Where are you? Nice. There he is. <laughs> Where'd you go? Okay. Also, I've seen this couple just hanging out by uh, the batting center for quite a while. Every time I come visit, I suppose I need to have a cigarette to see what the what's up with them. Maybe I'll sneak one in. Sugira, wait for me. Could use a smoke. You know, we're about to bust keto after all. <sighs> Plus, I could die at any second. This might be my very last cigarette. I'm bored of hanging out at the batting center. Let's go somewhere else for a change, you couldn't. No! I haven't conquered the Global Goliath course yet. Can't leave here until I do. Plus, this is all I have in my wardrobe. Of course I'm gonna hang out at the batting center. You see me playing pool or something? Besides, I can clearly see through the pitches now. I'll show this thing who the real Goliath is. That's what you've been saying for the three days now. Well, I'm not gonna interview. Better get going. Have fun. Okay, so you're... What's the... what's the deal? Welcome aboard. Thank you. Where's Higashi? Already inside. I haven't noticed anything weird out here. Kido should be showing up any minute. And what happens when he does? We'll shove him in the van and drag him over to Charles. Wow. Okay. What? Higashi's okay? <laughs> We're kidnapping him. It's not like we had a lot of time to think about it. We'll interrogate him once we get there. Right, Yagami-san? Yep. 
And speak of the devil. But do we have any instruments this time? Dang, everyone cleared out for Keto. Hmm. Surprised he actually showed. Surprised he didn't notice us. If he's being blackmailed, you'd think he'd right, be a little bit more observant. Out. Okay. Kind of nervous. What if someone takes Keto out while we're in, in the process of transitioning him into the man? What if Karoi was got a sniper rifle or something? Hey! What are you doing here? Came to play a few rounds, the Goliath challenge, Not you sure know? What you mean? My agency is just a couple blocks away. It's strange to see you here, though. What brings you out to Kamrocho? <laughs> well, I maybe yeah. meeting a seductive journalist. <laughs> I understand now. You're the ones behind all this. What will you do with that video? Sell it. Nothing, if you give us what we want. What is money? <laughs> yeah, that's no, what I've been after this entire time. Entirely. A payout. What are you going to do to me? We're just taking you for a little trip. No. No, I'm afraid you're not. No, really, it's just mm -hmm. a little trip. It's just down the road. Uh, so you're, uh, all three of us you didn't need forget. to walk in here, you know. I'm a powerful man. Huh. Who are these assholes? You brought this many people to deal with Sari? Health Sheesh. ministry thugs, if I had to guess. <laughs> they work for the health ministry? They have them all over the city or something? Some of them look like they smell. That video, Yagami! You wish. Oh, I get to beat you up too? Oh, that's a bonus. <laughs> he doesn't even have a lot of help. He's done. Love that. Oh no, the crane gate! Oh god, this batting center. Feel bad for it. Constantly seeing action. <laughs> Bodies flying everywhere. <laughs> it's a real war zone. Oh god. Well, thankfully they work for the health ministry. They probably got a discount when it comes to their health insurance. Though I'm sure their premiums are about to go right up. Ah, get rid of that guy. He's got a taser. I hate tasers. Uh, that guy's got a bench. Come on. All I just see are flailing bodies, glass shattering. Ugh. Come on. Can't believe he dodged all those kicks. <sighs> Defeat Keto? I did that in the first five seconds. Come on, game. Keep up. Stay back. Oh. Don't come any closer. You somehow procured a bat. <laughs> Whoa. Don't trip over now. There's a lot of bodies on the floor. Ooh. <laughs> Look where all that power got you. Nobody's running to help now. Not the ADDC, not the Ministry of Health. I've been waiting a long time for this moment. If you kill me, think what will happen to AD9. Their research will come to a screeching halt! Not here to kill you, buddy. Don't worry. Nobody's killing you. I'm sure they'll anybody. give you a lab in prison, though. But I suggest you learn a little humility. I never said I wouldn't hurt you. <laughs> Come on. We're out of here. Come on. Step into our van. The Yagamobile. Oh, no. Man. It's been a while since I did something like this. Oh, I, I don't want to know. Back in the group, <laughs> you know? <laughs> you always did have a habit of stripping them down. Oh, yeah. Everyone's the same underneath all this bullshit. Scientist, doctor, whatever. We Listen, can add to the video if you want. It's not too late for you. But if you don't release me... You'll have your assassin hunt us down? I'll take extensive legal action against oh. you. Oh! Huh. That's worse. What would happen if you did that? I might accidentally let that video loose to the press. <laughs> what? <laughs> if that doesn't sound good to you, start talking. You're gonna tell us everything you know about 89. Promise we're not here to steal your research either. I don't have the money to start up a new lab. Hmm? Who's this from? No! I don't have time for the K hit gang, Kim! Crap, what do I do? Hmm, let's see. Thugs on the street, or people continuously getting their eyes gouged out. I think I'm gonna question Keto. 
What do you people want? What do you mean, why you? What do you think? <laughs> are you stupid? I thought you were a scientist. Who are those guys at the batting center? Just book smarts, huh? Well, I... <laughs> you mentioned how powerful you are. Did you hire them to protect you? I'm actually surprised Keto's not buff. <laughs> Typically, everyone in the... Already. Like a dragon universe is muscular and like you any goddamn dignity. Look at you spanking an ass. Me a very happy man today. Why don't we have some real fun now that the interview's out of the way, hmm? My little minx. Who would have thought the scientist who was going to save the world would turn out to be some pervy asshole? <laughs> your name's going to go down in history if this gets out. And not how you're hoping. We'll play it in your uh, award ceremony. I beg you, Goof, please. Who were those thugs at the batting center? Hitman. On the Ministry of Health payroll. Oh, I you see. Says payroll, <laughs> Ministry of Health payroll. That's right. Hitman. I think you mean, yes, sir. Profit and loss item? Yes, sir. Ichinose san knows I've been abducted. Okay. More of them could rush in here at any minute if you don't release me. Uh, if you haven't noticed, we've got this whole fighting thing pretty down by now. Yeah. <laughs> Next question. It's about what happened three years ago. <laughs> Huh? Did you know Waku An was Alzheimer's killed? patient at the ADDC by the name of Waku by was murdered. His body found buried far out in the mountains. At the time, Shinpei Okubo was thought to be the killer. But the truth is, it was an unforeseen consequence of 89, which Shono had administered to this waku -san. You knew, didn't you? Well, what? your Cat silence your tongue? speaks volumes. Guess you're about to become internet famous then. Wait! Answer me, Keto! Yes! I knew! Alright. Who told you? When? How? Keen to testify? <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't say any more than that. If I did, I... Please, just give me some time to figure things out. Time's one thing I don't have. Shinpei Okubo's about to get executed for a murder he didn't commit. What? I need to get every last bit of information out of you right here. Right now. I'll even resort to torture if I have to. Torture? You'd break the law over this? I'm already breaking the law. I'm unwilling. What? That un doesn't sound fun to you? I'm detaining of you. not. And start talking. <laughs> Nobody's going to come help you now. <sighs> Another smoke. As a I'll scientist, give you a chance to think it over. You know, secondhand smoke's bad for you. Be ready by the time I come back. I got a Cahin gang to dismantle. That'll give him some time to reconsider. I'm sure. Kido's already a broken man. My guess, at this point, he's just desperate to save his own skin. Yep. Yeah. Sounds about right. I guess so. Maybe you should take a breather. I'm sure giving Keto I'm some breathing time in this school, smoke. can realize talking's the only option. We'll keep an eye on him in the meantime. Thanks, Sukiura. I appreciate it. Hey, even a guy like you needs to take breaks. You've been up and out all freaking day. I suppose I could take a break. There's a side case right here, after all. Threat meter's already down to 78%. Okay, come on. Let's do this. Hmm? Huh? Shimazu-san. <laughs> Surprise! Uh-huh. Yakumi-san. I've been looking for you, man. Where were you? What were you doing? Wait, if you're looking for me, does that mean Yukako hired you? Um, what the heck is going on? I picked up your phone and I got a pretty threatening call. That was you on the other end, Yakumi-san. That's not how that was supposed to go. Oh, she's not happy. Mamoru! Yukako! Oh, Yukako! Surprise! Naniyo? Forget that! Where were you? Eto. Oh, are you upset? Of course I am! I was worried sick! You weren't... You weren't meeting another woman, were you? W what are you saying, Yukako? I'm not even capable of that! Then what were you doing? Okay, Yukako. Uh, close your eyes real quick. Naniyo? Huh? Excuse me? Oh, God! Just close your eyes, Yukako. What the hell? Hmm? 
Tokunaga-san. Oh, Yagami-san, what brings you here? It's a long story. The real question is, why are you here? And you know this spot's famous for your hair blowing off, right? <laughs> oh, Mama asked me to come, man. We're bros, so I told him I'd be glad to be his girlfriend's present. Wait, what? Huh? What? You're a present? Yeah, me and this guy go all the way back to high school. I knew Yakako was a fan, so... I planned it all out as a surprise for her birthday. Dropping the smartphone was part of it, but... Oh, and that's why you called. Hey, uh, guys? How long do I have to keep my eyes closed? Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, okay. I... Oh, no! Huh? <laughs> I knew it! You... You were wearing a wig? <laughs> no, it's a hat. Yeah. Yagami-san! Yagami-san, go after it, please. Huh? Again? Come on, Mamoru's girlfriend can't see me like this. Hey, come on. How long do I have to keep my eyes shut? And my ears, apparently, too. Yagami-san! Hurry up, Yagami-san. She's going to open her eyes. <sighs> oh, for crying out loud. Oh, some break I'm having. Okay, I'm catching the hat again. No Wait kid better grab it. I just flew through that guy's head. Oh, Yagami, that's quite the detour you took there. Quick. She's gonna open her eyes any second now. Ugh. I honestly lost sight of the hat. Question mark. Ugh. There we go. Okay. Whew. Didn't have to run far this time. Though, Yagami, enough with the poses. Yukako's about to open her eyes! Here. <laughs> oh my god, I've never seen Yagami look so dead inside. He's like, I'm tired of catching your goddamn hat. Seriously, staple it to your scalp if you have to. Ew. That was clutch, man. Okay, Yukako. You can open your eyes now. <laughs> Took you long enough. <laughs> Wait, what? No way. Uh, no way. Toya? Huh? What? How? Happy birthday, Yukako! He's my present for you! Is this what you've been up to, Mamoru? I had to get things ready so I couldn't get in touch. I'm sorry for worrying you, Yukako. Uh, oh, well then why didn't you just tell me, Monkey Muffin? <laughs> uh, then it wouldn't be a surprise, would it, my sugar booger? <sighs> <laughs> You're lucky to have a guy who can make you smile, Yukako-san. I see no one wants to stop and consider what I just went through. <laughs> Look at him! Poor Excuse dude! Excuse me. Hey, can I go now? Oh, yeah. Here's your fee, Yagami-san. Shall we then? I've got a reservation at that Italian place you love. Yay, let's go, let's go! <laughs> oh, you two are a couple peas in a pod. I'm sh you sure I'm not just a third wheel here? Of course not. I'm so happy you're here. <sighs> well, as long as I'm not the fourth, that's twice this couple has taken me on a ride. And four times. This dickhead with his damn wig as. Okay, break's over. Come on. Ah, oh, I suppose I should take care of the Cahin gang. Where are they? Okay, there's one down the street. This'll be quick. As long as I don't get shot and blown up. Never mind, I'm about to get shot and blown up. Well, look who it is. I've been looking everywhere for you, Yagami-san. <laughs> Thanks to you making a mockery of us, we've lost the reputation we struggled so hard to gain. I realize you've been nothing but a thorn in our side from day one. And you're going to pay for that with your life! Okay, Koga. Let's do this. Just you and me this time, though. Looking good! Juggle! Yeah, definitely. So long as I'm not targeting my enemy, it seems like I can keep the juggle up. Uh-oh. Here comes the Arase special. I... Preemptively did that, unfortunately. Uh. Uh. This guy is so annoying, I swear. He was the one person I didn't want to encounter. Oh, okay, somehow I ducked. Shot me in the head! How many freaking medical kits you made me go through? Really, guys? Dickhead! Ugh. Worst one to face. Okay, one more. Let's do this. You know, Honda, I appreciate that you start with a yellow health bar rather than green. I have to try as hard with you. Although, 
kind of wish it'd do a little bit more mortal damage to me so I could justify using a medical kit. Unfortunately, oh Unfortunately I can't right now. You know what? I have no trouble using the Tiger Drop, especially after Koga. What a waste. He's such a cheap ass mofo that uh, using a Tiger Drop on Honda makes me very happy. Yeah, you have your old city back. Yeah, good job, Kim. <sighs> okay. Hopefully Kido's changed his tune and he's ready to sing like a bird. How's it looking? On Kido. You go relax a bit. Oh, I'm fully relaxed, you know? Nothing could have relaxed me more. Yagami Kido's had enough time to think. Other than a massage, maybe. Let's do this. To think this was a crime scene earlier in the day. We tidied up the uh, Ono Michio costume. Well, where's the uh, Charles employee that usually works here? I guess he's uh, taking the night off. Kido! Ready to talk yet? We're waiting. <laughs> yes. Good boy. Three years ago, Shono killed a patient by experimenting on him with 89. When did you find out? Did you authorize it? Right after the press conference. The one where we announced 89 to the world. Ooh. Shono told me himself. Great. Just thinking about it makes my blood boil. Even after all this time. Against your wishes, huh? You were forced into the conspiracy. I have some concerns about 89. At the moment, it's only effective on mice. Well, let's try humans. I'm well aware of that, yes. But I'm confident it will work on humans, too. Actually, sir. No. I'm afraid you're mistaken. What's this now? We just had a fantastic conference. This is no time for doom and gloom. Just sit back and try to relax. You deserve it. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, and by the way, Ichinose was thrilled with what he saw. Guy was on top of the world. One day we're almost getting shut down. The next we have a massive budget. And if you can make consistent progress, AD9 will head to clinical... At this stage, I'm afraid clinical trials would be inadvisable. If we try, all the test subjects will die. Are you sure? How do you know? How can you say that with such confidence, huh? Shinpei Okubo was actually innocent. What? Innocent? Why are you bringing this up now? Please, I'm drinking my finest whiskey. Correctly. waku -san. His murder didn't play out like you think it did. The real cause of death was AD9. Was none other than AD9. What do you mean? That murder was... It was a secret clinical trial for AD9. <laughs> I gave him the injection personally. <gasps> you did what? Please, I... Damn. I had to take this opportunity. The whole world is waiting for this cure. But when I injected him, he let out the most horrible scream. Oh. These hands covered his mouth. I tried to make him shut up. Which means you... You're a murderer. <laughs> well, uh, yeah. <laughs> How could you be such a damn fool? What are we going to do? Shono, I just spent the entire afternoon talking up your drug to the press. <laughs> you couldn't have told me this earlier? Damn name on the research! If you hadn't held that press conference, the ADDC would have been done for and you- Why didn't you tell me this before? I needed you, Dr. Kido. Whoa. <laughs> I couldn't let damn. the center get shut down. The AD9 project would have been terminated. I but need this. Know, I need to be the guy this who cured Alzheimer's. Work, ensuring that AD9 would save the world. This whole thing is preposterous. I'm going to the press. There's no need for that. Your name's on the research. I need to say pull back us. Director. As long as we finish AD9's development, there won't be any issues. Your name will go down in history. As the man who saved the world. Yeah, what's Not a little cover-up? The money. Of course. 
It would multiply if you really, really quick. really insist on revealing the truth, both of our careers would go down the drain. And your lives. And you have more to lose, Director. Shono, you're mad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, that look on his face. Is that all Shono told you? There's got to be more. <laughs> Anything about Emi Terasawa? Wasn't the only person Shono killed, was he? Because that's what Okubo's on the hook for. No. He needed Shinpei Okubo to take the fall. And murdered Emi Terasawa there we to go. accomplish that. So you did not! Hey! Hey, hey, I said I'd hurt him, but, you know, that Save was just Tsugira. a bluff. We're not done yet. One of your employees. We've got him right where we want him. He won't hide anything anymore. What happened next? After Shono killed Emmy. Yeah, he's already revealed what he <laughs> Don't you already wanted to hide it? the most. You had Hashki murdered. I didn't. It wasn't me. Hashki was digging around, trying to find something wrong with 89. You and Shono didn't like that too much. But you needed some help to take care of him. Someone else who wanted to protect 89. That person was... The man Shono and Kido asked for help in protecting 89 was... Uh... Well... Ichinose, right? Technically. No, they went to Hamura, sorry, because uh, they needed him to clean up. And he's the one who got him in contact with Koroiwa. Hamura from the Matsugane family. Hmm? Nope. No. Sorry. I've got my order of events wrong. Before I knew any Everyone's so intertwined exactly. in this web. In that case, it was... Ichinose. Ichinose, from the Ministry of Health. <gasps> the guy who founded the ADDC made it a place all the old guard ministry execs could retire to. Yes. Shono there we are. and I went to Ichinose-san and pleaded with him to help us. After all, he's known for being well-versed in political matters, both above board and otherwise. But of course. So, we told him everything. About Wakusan dying in the experiment, about Emi Terasawa. And he was more than happy to cover it up. Every last detail. Without hesitation, yeah. Ichinose-san agreed to help us with the cover-up. His hands are already dirty. According to him, protecting AD-9 was top Priority. Japan finding Hence the cure for Alzheimer's? Silence, or dementia? Priceless. Ichinose-san knew he was Kajihira's spy from the start, and acted accordingly. Meaning he's the one who first dragged Hamura and Kuroiwa into this bullshit. Real barrel of fucking monkeys. <laughs> With Hashki out of the way, all that was left for us to do was complete 89. But we realized something. If we entered clinical trials and another patient died, our dream too would be dead. The ADDC would be no more. And all our sacrifices would have been for nothing. Plus, you're already Your sacrifices? in bed with freaking Yakuza and whatnot. You're not the ones who died for some bullshit drug! <laughs> Go on. Through all my hesitation, Shono kept pushing. Aggressive to a damn fault. He said we couldn't be afraid of failure if we really wanted to finish 89. That we needed to keep experimenting until we succeeded. Have you guys made any progress? He also said the only way to speed up development was to keep conducting clinical trials in secret. Shona was adamant about that. Why? Think about it. If we could hide the fact that our subjects were dying, we could continue experimenting despite the risks. No one would shut you down. In order to do so, we needed a way to quickly procure and discard test subjects. With that, 
It would only be a matter of time until AD9 was complete. And those test subjects were the Kyori clan men. Ichinosi-san listened to every single one of Shoto's requests. <laughs> he had a laundry list of demands. My only role in all of this was obtaining the funds required. And keep my hands off women's asses, apparently. So, money and he failed that. into the ADDC from the Ministry of Health. Money which I gave to Shono, allowing him to build a secret lab in Kamurocho. Where? Uh, what? It's where he carries out yeah. all of his human experiments. Since all the victims are in Kamurocho, he couldn't be too <laughs> far out. Amra mentioned a secret lab for doing the human experiments back at Honmaruin. Where exactly is this lab? I'm not sure of the specific location. Really? I try not to come between Shono and Ichinose-san unless absolutely necessary. <sighs> so that lab is where all the killings happen, where those Kyori guys were slaughtered. If anywhere's gonna have evidence, it's there. Yeah, it'll be a gold mine. You sure you don't know where it is? Detective Kuroyo at Wood. Oh, of course he would. He's not as talkative as you, though. No. <laughs> and not easily manipulated. Shono's the only one? There was another person involved in setting up the lab. Who? A subordinate of Ichinose's son. I believe his name was Ishimatsu. Oh, was that the I've contact? I've heard that name before. Yeah. He was the middleman between Hamura and Shono. Where's this Ishimatsu guy? In Kamurocho, there's a Ministry of Health office up in the Millennium Tower. Ooh. Apparently, he'll be in tonight. Wait, the Millennium Tower? Is it gonna blow up? <laughs> That's where they oversee Shono's secret lab. Nobody knows the office is there. The sign out front even has a different name. Ah, oh, that'll do the trick. You really got a place like that? Like Superman putting glasses well, on. Shimatsu knows where the lab is, yeah? This will be easy. <laughs> Just gotta strip him down and force him to talk. How many naked men are we gonna have at the got end idea. of the night here mm -hmm. in Charles? First, we give this Ichimatsu guy some kind of reason to go to the lab. Then we just follow him from the Millennium Tower. Not bad. Ichimatsu himself will lead us straight there. But how are we gonna get him to go? Well. We'll, uh, it's not in Little Asia, is it? Because it's all burned we'll down and abandoned. Get a buddy Kido here to give him a call. Huh? Say something about how we're closing in on the lab. Tell him you need him over there to stand guard. You know that might just work. Like what? You think I'll just agree to this? Yeah. You better. If you don't want to spread in your little video, that is. How many times do we gotta repeat <sighs> that threat? That settles it then. What does Ishimatsu look like? He's in his 50s, always wears a gray suit, a sh short man, not that much over five feet. Ah, ah, and he always wears gloves. Okay. That could be any regular ass <laughs> old dude in this town. Anything else? There may be photos of him on the internet. You seriously telling us to just search him? Yeah, why not? Yes. Er, well, not exactly. Try looking up Vice Minister Ichinose. He'll be standing beside him. Shimatsu might have ended up in a photo of his at some point. Mm, gotcha. Could take a while, but I should be able to find something. Kaito, Higashi, mind hanging back here with Kido? Sure. What about me then? You get to tail Ishimatsu with me. You're good at that kind of stuff, right? Guess so, yeah. Well, let's head to the Millennium Tower. All right. Be safe, you two. I'll send you a shot of Ishimatsu once I've got one. Great. Let's move out. Whew. It's on now. Time to find ourselves a secret lab. Come on. Millennium Tower. Of course I had to be involved at some point.